friends, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be using three products from Honeybee to create a card with a big impact today. And I just love the lovely layers. They're just a great product for creating such a beautiful focal point on your project. I cut out all of my pieces for my lovely layer sunflower today using the Bitty Buzz Cutter. I love this little machine. I love how it folds up. I love how it's compact and it is perfect for cutting those small dies. Now I'm going to start to create some color on my sunflower die cut pieces here with some Distress Oxide inks. I do have those over to the right there so you can see the colors. I'm blending on with my Honey Bee Stamps blending brush one of my detail blending brushes and I'm just starting off with a base layer here in just a really nice soft um, kind of a rustic-y looking yellow color I love this so much and this is just going to help create the base for my sunflower now I'm moving on to my next color this is going to be just to add a little bit more detail and depth with my sunflower I didn't want to just use one color I wanted to use a few different colors just to create you know a little bit of you know shadow and lightness and darkness and that just like I said adds some depth to the, those die cut pieces. Now I'm going in with just a little bit of an orangey brown color here with Rusty Hinge. I love this color so much in the Distress line and again with my detail brushes from Honey Bee it's so easy to color up these images and I do have them on my Waffle Flower Media Mat here or Stencil Mat which I love working on for stenciling, ink blending, all of those kinds of techniques where you want your paper to just kind of sit still while you do that blending. This mat cleans up so nicely just with a little bit of water and a towel and I do really love working on these waffle flower mats so much. Now you can just see I really wanted to just put this darker color around the edges of my petals and the outside edge of my sunflower and the inside color the center I really wanted to really go for some dark impact here. So I'm using that rusty hinge again and then I'm just going to add a little bit of black with black soot and just going to finish up the center portion of my sunflower here with those with those two colors love how this turned out so much and I just wanted to get a little bit of that black soot in the center nice and deep and I'm just going to use one of the smallest detail brushes from Honeybee to create that really impactful color in that center that's nice and dark. Now I'm going to use a few colors on my leaves here. Really love mode lawn. It's just such a nice bright color. So I'm going to go in on the edges of the leaves here with that darkest color and then just use a little less pressure on my brush for the lighter area on the leaves again just to create that depth and density I didn't really care if it was like light and shadow um, accurate when it goes onto my card I just wanted to give the leaves just a little bit of depth in this way so now I'm just going in with a little forest moss and you can just see again I'm using my detail blending brushes from honeybee these are so perfect for smaller areas where you want to just get into the little bits of um, your die cut and now I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of mustard seed to add a little bit of yellow you know leaves are never just one color I love the modern a2 cover plate from honeybee again this is going to add some impact to my background by just creating some texture I'm going to go ahead and use my honeybee precision glue tube here to uh, just add some adhesive around the outside edges of this die cut piece and you can just see that I have die cut this out of some white cardstock and I'm going to add that to a white cardstock base. And I'm going to use my, my base in a little bit of a different orientation. You'll see that as my card process continues here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all adhered down to my card base. And then you can just see here how I am going to add my sunflower. Now I did put my sunflower layers together. If you're ever confused about how these go together, you can just go over to the Honey Bee shop and they do have a graphic for each one of the lovely layers to show you how they layer together, but they're super, super easy. Um, it works really, really easy. And I love how these just look so beautiful when you add them to a card. I did add each of these different pieces with a little bit of foam adhesive and just adding a little bit of foam adhesive to the very tips of those leaves. I just love how the little bit of foam adhesive under the tips of each one of these leaves just gives those leaves a little bit of dimension. You could even curl those leaves up a little bit as well if you wanted to just to create that little bit of extra texture 
on your project. It's always something to think about whether or not you're going to be mailing the project or if you're going to hand deliver how much dimension you add to the card front. So I'll just finish up with that foam adhesive and now I'm going to be using the big buzzword die and coordinating stamp set. I love the bitty but I love the buzzwords and the bitty buzzwords but this is the larger buzzword and the impact that they add to a card is just so fantastic. Now I did want to cut the three different layers of the scripty word big with the dies. I thought I was going to use the first layer, the top layer out of craft. I actually end up changing my mind, but um, I started off with craft with the first layer. The second layer I did in brown cardstock. And then the third layer, I use some gold glitter cardstock. And when I went to put these layers together, I didn't like how the, the craft looked. I just thought it was a little bit too dark for my project. So I do end up cutting off that first layer again with some white cardstock. And then you'll see that when I go to put these together but I like the little added um, sparkle with the gold glitter cardstock from the largest shadow of the word big and so you can just see when I put these together that's going to look really pretty except that it looks even better when the when the scripty top layer is out of the white cardstock. So I'm just going to add these together with a little bit of liquid adhesive especially um, when it's uh, going to be going on to some glitter cardstock. You know you definitely want to be using some liquid adhesive there and here you can just see I have my top layer which is that white big and I'll add that that uh, dot to the eye there and that will finish off my large portion of my sentiment here I love the impact of the buzzwords I think they are just always so stunning on a card and they just really do add that um, impact to the project so I'm just going to use my honeybee tweezers to help me put that together and I'm going to pop up the sentiment on some foam adhesive so I'll add some foam dots here to the back of my buzzword big these foam dots with the tabs are amazing and they are available in the honeybee shop so make sure you check those out now I'm just going to use my tweezers to help me place this onto my card and I, I do use this actually as a side folding card base and I'll show you that in a second when I'm all finished here and I open the card at least I think I show you here um, if I don't well the card is a side folding um, horizontal um, card here even though it is folded over on the side and not the top I just thought that was a little bit different it kind of opens like a book um, so now I wanted to add some back to basics gem stickers here to my project I'm just using my pen blade to help me get those down I love the word congratulations layered over top of the word big that was stamped using the big buzzword stamp set and I just cut it into a strip and that is basically going to finish off my card today I had so much fun making this is all Always. I love my honeybee products and I always enjoy making cards and I love making cards that have a big impact um, especially with my lovely layers and of course the buzzwords so I hope you can check out the links to all of the products I use today in the description box below have an amazing day friends and I'll see you soon